started lay down, rested my gun onto the ammunition box, and started firing at the Germans. And you could see people fall, Germans falling, and they dispersed naturally to get out of the way. And they all went quiet. Well, the film was about a remarkable gentleman called uh, Sergeant uh, Wally Harris, who um, was in the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers in World War II, and he was awarded the Military Medal for his gallant actions um, when he um, destroyed a German 88 that was about to fire on the King's Company Grenadier Guards. Um, he is recorded in the Regimental History as taking 12 to 15 prisoners and killing um, about the same amount of enemy troops. Uh, Wally's story is so important for the Corps because he's one of our few soldiers has won a gallantry award, been awarded a gallantry award for direct enemy action. Um, so we have lots of amazing soldiers who have won awards in Afghanistan and Iraq um, for doing really dangerous things and it's absolutely fantastic. But Wally went out there and he engaged with the enemy. Um, so it wasn't just he was in his line of work, he was repairing a vehicle, or he was recovering a vehicle under fire, he actually went out of his way to engage the enemy against, you know, superior odds, uh, which was absolutely phenomenal. phenomenal. Yeah. The purpose of the event tonight is to preview the film, um, obviously at King's College, who've kindly sponsored the event, and um, it's a chance to say thank you to all those people who've helped make it, the cast and crew, a lot of which have given their time for free. Um, and people who've done things like loaned vehicles, etc. We have the Remy Band playing tonight, and um, we have Chelsea Pensioners. And so it's a, it's a large event to saying, you know, this is the film we've made, and um, you know, we hope that you all enjoy it. Um, I've not been directly involved in making the film. I've only been relied on to give advice and sort of expertise like really when and I've been when they did a week's filming down on Salisbury Plain, they asked me to go along on the Sunday and on the Wednesday, the two days where I was more involved, shall we say. And so uh, that part I was able to when I saw these chaps in German uniform, talk to them about it and about the gun and position and so forth. And when the chap who's playing a part of me, uh, playing part of Sergeant Molly Harris. Um, I was able to give him a few tips as well. We read a lot in books, we, we see films that present in a dramatic way events that have happened in history. Only to, to have a story about a particular individual, uh, heroic acts, is, if you like, a, an important piece of oral history and something that we should record, we should preserve, and it forces us to think about events gone by. The actual experience of people from the World War II generation where the experience of war was a um, almost universal experience uh, for, um, for the people of Britain. Uh, I mean, I cannot emphasize how important it is that uh, it, you know, his story is told and uh, is told in full. Well, as Wally says, he's going to fall off his perch soon, bless him. Um, and if we don't record these stories now, you've seen how well Wally remembers this story. If we don't record this, if we leave this any longer, um, the history will die with him. And that's just such a terrible shame. You know, it's such a special story and we need to preserve it for future generations. Fortunately for us, as you know, history tells us about the Battle of Britain and what those brave lads out there did, as Churchill called them, the few. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owned by so many, just a few. But for what they did, and defeating the Germans, like they did the aircraft, they realised that perhaps we were much stronger than they thought.